Hey, thanks for checking in, I'm Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to The Evil Within 2. Our destination lies just 100 metres over there, however, we've been distracted by this, what, truck depot? I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's a tread, tread something truck? I don't know, who cares what it is. All we know is that there's possible loot and definitely some enemies inside. You can see one of the sacks just running over there. Now, there is this weird symbol on our left, which I think wants us to use our communicator. We'll maybe find another signal. Yeah, that looks right. What we got here? Fallen Mobius Operative Handgun Ammo Pouch. Should we head there? How close is that? Oh, it's very close. Just be just behind this house. Alright, well, I'm always one to be easily distracted, so maybe we'll head there first. We're not in bad shape as things go. I mean, we could always, like, do better on the bullet front, but we're alive and kicking. Oh, okay. Okay, well, there's someone under that car. I don't quite know why this car is, uh, you know, rummaging around like that. I don't ever trust cars that move in that way. It doesn't look like the sort to be kitted out of hydraulics. How about we jump on it? That will show this car who's boss, right? Nope, okay. Alright, well, let's move on to our next problem. What the hell are you down there? You want to grab our leg, aren't you? Why can't we go prone? We'll take them bullets. Okay, that's fine. Just keep an eye out, because we know it's gonna it's gonna do something, that person. A rummage in the bin. Or, you know, maybe clip through the bin. Or a steel drum. Just a damn rock? Okay, fine. Oh! Oh, S Sebastian? What on earth has gone on here? This isn't good. Well, at least we saw our friend. Well, I'm gonna obviously have to reload this, because uh, we've, um, we've definitely glitched. <laughs> It could be fun. I could explore the clipped map here. But I think we're probably better off um, just reverting to a previous save. Well, I've got to say, I'm sorry about that. I'm not quite sure I'm going to risk diving into this um, steel barrel drum again. What the hell was all that about? I'm worried it might happen again because uh, it was a little bit annoying, but we're back now. And that's definitely the first like glitch we've seen so far. There's been some slight clipping in animations, but nothing to worry about. We'll definitely take this axe. Right, now, as you know, there is a dude underneath that car. I think it's just a matter of time before he makes himself known. Oh, we need to lock on again, don't we? There we go. Let's, uh, how about we set that as our active? And it's just inside this train car. Okay. Should be fine. We also can smash these boxes. Why not? For the weapon parts. It's all good. Lots of stuff laying about. Oh, wow. More gunpowder. And more weapon parts. These crates are, like, amazing. Wow, okay. So, I've got a feeling there'll be a fight or two in here. That's annoying. It's shut from this side. Should we go around the other end of that cart? That guy's still chilling under there. If he wants to do that, that's fine. We're not gonna not gonna bother him. Oh, okay. He's gonna bother us. <laughs> I know, it may have been a waste. Sort of like a one shot there on that dude, but we had to do it, I think. I didn't want to waste my precious bullets. What have we got here? More weapon parts. So all in all, quite fruitful. How about we um, make some ammo for our guns? What have we got? 65. We can make one bullet. Sounds good to me. Open up our clip. Oh, something on the floor there. Looks like a, like a battery or something. Oh, it's nails, isn't it? Okay. And we have to go in here. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> can you reach round? There's something watching us. What the hell is it? Oh man, it's going to be a quick time event. How about we just get our shotgun for this dude? Okay, oh no, that didn't kill him. Or did it? No, I don't think it did. Come out the bushes, dude. Jesus Christ, you're a tough one. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was uh, not a fair fight. He just had his like arms and teeth. We had a shotgun and a handgun. But I'm glad he's dead nonetheless. And he made quite the mess in here. I mean, to be honest, he actually does a huge favour. He opened up this door. We never would have got inside. I feel sorry for this dude. But there's a lot of green goo oozing out of you. We'll take that, plaid shirt man. Uh, what was we really after? Wasn't it some handgun ammo? <gasps> oh no, a camera. Does that mean our photographer antagonist is around? Oh, I don't know. It worries me, though. He's more of like a small, compact, digital camera kind of guy, though, isn't he? You know, we're in a very tight spot, so let's keep our shotgun to hand. Oh my god, where's the rest of his body? It doesn't matter. Turn on our torch. And be wary, we're about to get jumped. 
almost feel it. We'll get this sweet pouch though, hopefully. Pouch upgrade, handgun ammo pouch. This nylon pouch is used to carry additional handgun bullets. Beautiful. We're now up to what, 26? And there's five pouches, bloody hell. Now, can we exit? What the hell's that? Do you guys see that? I see it. That wire was not there before. We're gonna have to walk past it, aren't we? And what, is it gonna make the camera flash? Oh shit, yep, yeah, it sure did. Oh, are you good or bad? Oh, he moves down really slow. <laughs> He's not dead though, is he? I don't think that kills him. There we go. Off of their head, definitely kills him. Right, so this is interesting. We can use the camera areas to our advantage. A weird like, time slowing mechanic that I was not expecting, I have to admit. Look at all this gel. Absolutely frothing in gel here. We can upgrade our stats unbelievably well, I think. Okay, well, thank you, camera. Um, and there's another communicator thing here. What's this one? Oh, that's the girl's voice. That's our main objective. We know all about that. Well, that was quite a nice little distraction. I'm glad we managed to bolster our um, ammo pouch. And we could look around them trains, but we must get back to uh, the mission at hand. And maybe explore this truck depot. There's a lot of enemies lurking around here though, so I'm a little bit wary. Oh god, maybe we can jump up in that car? I think that dude might have ammo on him. What did we do that last episode? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. Okay, we can get Vantage. How many do you see? I see one, two, and three. You know what? A couple of stealth kills, that wouldn't be too bad. Get down there, Sebastian. Just gotta play it very cool. But you can do that, can't you? I'm sure you can, alright. so. This little lady, that's who we're going to get to first. Just by the port cabin. Oh, she's seen us. No, she hasn't. Oh, there's there's four. There's at least four. I can still take her out first. And she has an axe, which will be one free kill. Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. You stay there. You stay right there. I can There's a face in your back. Did anyone see that? Can, can you see it now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a very two-faced lady. We have the axe. Oh, we're covered in blood. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> oh, it, it evaporated incredibly quickly. Someone's seen us. It, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Alright, who wants some first? Who's quicker? Who's going to win the race? Come on. Who's first? Oh, you. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. That means you die. Oh, you got to shotgun us again? We need to use our shotgun. Come here, you big boat. Oh my god, he moves. He's very agile for a, for a huge fella. As you may have guessed, that was very infuriating. So we have to try this again. And I think they're in different positions. Oh, okay. We're at least different models of zombie. Alright, we'll go for this dude first, maybe. Oh, so shit. Oh my god, our aim. It's so bad. Alright, we back off. That's what we do. We back off. And we take him out one at a time. Put that axe down. Oh my god, how did we do? We're still alive. <laughs> how infuriating. I wanted to do that way more stealthily. I wanted to conserve way more ammo. But it's okay. it's okay, they're dead. We did pretty good and we got an axe out of it. The shotgun. I thought it was going to do a lot more damage. Oh, what have we got here? Kick over an oil drum. A new tutorial has been added. So what happens if we do that? It would leak, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then what? We can, um, we can shoot it to ignite it, I imagine. Well, it's a bit too late for that now, unfortunately. But at least we can uh, explore this at our leisure. I think there's... Yeah, that dude's still alive up there, but it's fine. I did notice you could open the back of this truck. Please don't be an enemy in there. There's not. I think that's an unbreakable crate, though. Oh! Hang on, but it's okay. We're running low on shotgun shells. Two. Which is a little bit alarming. And I axed, yeah, they definitely don't break them crates. That's fine. Okay, well. Is it is it worth being stealthy here? I think they're all dead. Apart from the dude up high there. We should keep an eye out for um, gunpowder. Because they're hidden in all sorts of nooks and crannies. But I see weapon parts over there. 
We need some elevated ground. I don't even know if we can get inside that building. Actually, oh, I think we probably can, actually. Can we go up there? We can. Oh, okay. Now, if we can get you to go down. Let's try. Where's our bottles? There's our bottles. Right, will you drop down, little buddy? Go on. We want to set you on fire. Okay, he did. <laughs> it worked. Beautifully, I think. He's not quite dead, though. Actually, it seems like he's enjoying it. That's not good. Oh, he's finally succumbed to the flames. Perfect. Alright, what have we got? So there's a, an exit there going over the plank. Some more houses. Oh, I can hear more zombies, actually. They sound frighteningly close. Maybe they're inside here. Oh, God, I can hear him squelching. What was that? Handgun bullets again? Oh, we've got loads now. Guys, why can I hear this enemy, but I can't quite see him? Because they're... There they both are. Okay. I wonder if there's any chance of uh, stealth killing both of them. Probably not, but we've got to give it a go, haven't we? We do have an axe. If we could stealth kill one and axe the other. Oh, God, this, there's so many, like, things to explore here. So there's a padlock on there. Which would, like, insinuate that whatever's behind this locked door is good. You know what? They didn't hear it. <laughs> dopes. Absolute dopes. They still haven't seen me. So one will get stealth killed. Thankfully, we took the one with the axe out. And then we just axe you. Perfect. I had a feeling that's going to be way more challenging, but it, it wasn't at all. We've done it beautifully. And we can pick up the axe when you knew that. Well, it couldn't have gone better if we tried. So let's pull this lever. Who knows what that will unlock. There we go. Nice. Hopefully that did the trick. It did, but what trick are we attempting to do here? That's the only worrying thing. I hope we're not getting ahead of our station. I don't want to get too distracted. I can't help it. <laughs> I love all these little areas. Little plank gun over there. Oh, I see you. We're going to take that. Gunpowder? Oh, it's a bottle. Well, we did use a bottle. It's funny how slowly like the severed arms and that just aren't really phasing me. They're just uh, part of the environment. <laughs> Man, Union has really fell far from grace, this town. Okay, now I figure we get in through here. It may just be like a hidden item or something. I don't think it's any story requirements that we go in here. But of course, I'm not sure about that. I know as much as you. Assuming this is your first time through as well. Oh, he looks relatively human. Are you alive? Wait, is that a stupid question? <laughs> he had gunpowder on him though. And another fuse. Not bad. Maybe we should save our gunpowder to make some uh, shotgun shells. I did see the other corpse as well, but I want to circumvent around this way. Flank him, you know? Oh, shit! What was that? What just fell over? Is it nothing to worry about? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. We'll take the goo. And we've got 5,000 now. I want to find, um, like, a, a new safe house. Okay, so there's definitely something bad in here. Very, very bad. I mean, who would have thought it, like, an abandoned warehouse? It's not exactly a calming environment. Oh crap, you don't open up. Because there's a padlock on the other side. Can I... That wouldn't work, would it? No, that wouldn't work. What a waste of a bullet. It must be something to do with here. Right, how about if we knock that over? Where would it spread? The only thing I'm thinking is that it would burn that board. Oh, that's probably stupid as well. Yeah, it doesn't reach anywhere near as far. Oh, that doesn't work either. Oh, crap, we've wasted two bullets and we don't know where to go. Oh, unless. <laughs> no, that's also stupid. Oh, we're a little bit stuck for ideas. There must be a way over. Hmm. I mean, there was that outside staircase, but I don't know if we can access it from... Uh, what we had available to us. Is there any way we can get up on these containers? It doesn't seem so. Game is definitely... Uh... Oh, maybe up here? No, shutting us out. Alright, fine. Don't lose hope. Don't despair. We'll go outside and have another look. 
So what would be the point of that room? There must be more to it. Yeah, look, you're not getting through there. Okay, what about in here? Nope. And there's a last ditch effort through this one. No, okay. I think I'm going to go back in there. It's um, piqued my interest. And now I'm going to see if I can work out how to get in. Well, I solemnly admit defeat. I can't quite work out how we get past that sort of locked door in there. So for now, I'm going to move on. Maybe we're not meant to access it yet. I'm not sure. Um, I won't lose too much sleep. If we're meant to go there, maybe the game will steer us in that direction. Maybe we'll unlock an item that will enable us to go there. The only thing I can think of is breaking the wooden like board that was uh, blocking the crawl path. But it doesn't seem to be it either. So for now, we'll head on to our side mission and finally see what's in store there. We're not doing quite as good on ammo as I hoped. I did waste a couple of bullets trying to shoot that padlock. Um, you could get a shot on it, but the fence was in the way, and so it just wouldn't like register it, I guess. So you must have to come at it from the other side. It's just a question of how you get to that other side, but it's okay. We'll take all this stuff we got here. Maybe we'll get some stuff back. There we go. We've got 72 gunpowder. We could actually make three handgun bullets with that, couldn't we? We only have one shotgun shell, because I did waste a shotgun shell as well. I know it's stupid. Let's do that quickly. Why not? Um, we'll stick with the handgun bullets. We'll make three. There we go. So it's only 60 meters away. But of course, all these houses, a lot of them seem to be unlocked or at least have something of value in them. Even them little, like, garages there. Take the herb. I think we're lacking on herbs as well. We don't need a bowl. Wait, there was a dude slumped. Oh, I think he's definitely alive, isn't he? All right. Mitchell and Sons Construction. God, so many little bits in <laughs> little areas. Well, let's um, keep our call up to this guy taking a cat nap along the truck. Oh, it's moving again. Did you see it? Why do all the vehicles do that? I don't like it. Well, they all get jiggy when we get close. It throws me off a little bit. We should be able to stealth kill you, right? No, you you don't like that at all. Alright, well, how about we just uh, move past you then? We could open the back up. This is such a dumb idea. What the hell? Rogue signal, just in there. Alright, that's where we're trying to head for. I want to look in here first. Come on. Oh! Bollocks, 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 bollocks. That's why it was getting jiggy. Because it was full of people. Oh, we have uh, we have messed up. Big time. Okay. Did we take out two at once there? We did. Get away from me. Reload, reload. That's fine. Oh shit, there's still two. There's still two alive. I really don't want to die here. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off me. Don't you try and French kiss me with that horrible bloody mouth. Okay. Uh, what have we got? No, 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 no. Where's our damn... That's what we wanted to use. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is she dead? Please be dead. Please. That could not have gone any worse, could it? In fact, that was the most terrible situation we've ever found ourselves in. Alright, okay, for any of you wondering, there's your lesson. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, 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 open the back door of a van that is uh, getting jiggy when you get near, okay? It's not worth it. Look what's happened to us. We are a shell of a man. We've used all of our resources. Um, we can make, what, one bullet? Oh my god. We're going to have to get... We're going to have to use the bow for a while. Or the crossbow, sorry. You know what, we're going to take you out because I'm sure you will wake up. No, maybe you won't. Okay. There better be something damn good in the back of here. Oh, there is like a, a container. Four shotgun shells. It's not the worst thing in the world. I just accidentally used that um, health item. Come on, equip the shotgun, Sebastian. I've been telling you this. There we go. Right, have we calmed down? I'm a little bit uh, dishevelled, I will admit. Maybe we'll look in this building before we go into the Union Repair. Get them weapon parts. God damn it, that was so intense. Oh, we can't even open you. You're blocked. Alright, fine. There could be another entrance, I'm sure of it. Let's have a little look. Maybe we pull up one of these. Nope. Nope. And nope. All that leaves is round the back exploration. Ah, oh, there's guys in the train. 
Get off the damn train, you fools. No, okay. Well, we've settled our, um, settled our curiosity. Aha, there's a padlock here. Now, this is interesting. Can we melee padlocks? We can. <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> Please be dead. They're scary. I can't tell if they're dead or not. Right, easy. We're going to make it there. <gasps> what is that? beeping here? What is that? There's a damn car beeping. It's going to attract a bunch of zombies, isn't it? That's what I'm calling them. I don't think they are actually zombies. They're probably more like infected. But um, they're getting labelled as zombies here. I don't know if that's politically correct for them, but I mean, I haven't heard it otherwise. So what car was honking? Oh, look at the like the moths. Ugh. We're doing fine. We're doing just fine, Sebastian. It's a little bit ropey there, but we've came through stronger. Jesus. Okay. Oh my God, the communicator's making me jump. <laughs> In we go. Did the door shut behind us? It did. Of course it did. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Fine. We'll work to that area in just a second. First, we're going to take all this stuff. And do you know what? I think we can actually make some um, crossbow bolts. Oh, no. We need some more pipes. All right. We can make a shock bolt. It takes five gunpowder, though. Not quite sure how I feel about that. We'll take the nails. Why, why would there be nails in, like, an auto shop? Isn't that sort of detrimental to the tyres? I don't know. That shows how much I know about cars. But, um... That use like bolts and nuts and stuff rather than nails. Okay, so that's where we need to get to. That dude by the fuse box. We'll take these weapon parts. We've got loads now. 135. Actually, not that much really, is it? And gunpowder. Do many of these other cabinets open? No, I don't think so. There's an outdated PC. And I guess finally, we have this. What are you doing with that fuse box? You're not getting out of their shit hills. Just call me shit hills. I locked a bunch of those things in the room underneath the auto body shop. Oh no. I'm heading to the visitor center now. James, do you copy? The room underneath the auto shop. There's a supply cache under here. I gotta get down there. Yeah, I think you do. You probably have to raise one of the cars. Oh, what's this? Where the fuck are you? Get your ass to the visitor center. Aha. Uh -huh. We know the visitor center. We went there like right at the beginning. Visitor center it is. Okay, let's get um, the supplies from here first. The room underneath. I reckon it's got something to do with these cars. Surely. No, come on, secret door. Where are you? That yet? Yeah, that's it. There's the damn secret door. How do we raise you? Oh, do you reckon we have to do something with that fuse box that he was like tinkering with? Yes. There we go. Open her up. Pull some wires. Um, flip it. Why not? Nope, you didn't like that. He likes that though. Oh, do we have to fill them all up? Using all the switches? No. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Wait, how much does this one do? Three? That does four. That one does two. Okay, this is kind of confusing. One, two, three, four, five. Do any of them do three? Jesus, okay, sorry about this. This could be uh, frustrating to watch. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that does five. Oh, but this one does four, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> we got there in the end. Okay, we have light. Whether we like it or not, we definitely have light. Resonant point arrows indicate. It's equipping the communicator will show an arc indicating the relative distance to a resonance point. Additionally, you didn't give me enough time to read that. Girl's voice, we know that. I'll listen to that again. Okay, fallen Mobius operative shotgun shell. We want shotgun shells. He's just here, he's in the place next door. Alright, first we're gonna bring this car down. So it may have something in it. Oh, we're being watched. Oh! Fuck me! 
No, no. Please be dead. She's not dead. Please be dead now. Oh, crap. I hate her face. We're going to need them shotgun shells. We saw something similar to her, didn't we? Underneath. Uh, in the... <laughs> when we fast travelled. Oh, what? Did we just raise it again? God damn it. Look what she's done to me. Oh, she's horrible. Everything about her is hideous. Come on, Ethan. For the love of God. What can we take? Gunpowder. Alright, fine. What can we make here? Oh, where did she come from? That's what I hate. They just appear. Um, so we could make one shotgun shell. <laughs> we are in a very enclosed space. I think it's a good idea. And now we're going to look underneath this door. Remember he said he locked a bunch of them in there? That's very unsettling. We're going to have to get, like, melee ready. Okay, no ladder back up. Beautiful, now we're stuck down here. Are you happy with that, Sebastian? Alright, all I see is rats so far. We have two metal pipes, we could make a harpoon gun. Bolt, sorry. Do it. And perhaps that will, that's what we should use going down here. Oh no, equip communicator, what's this say? Best friends. And that makes what I have to do even harder. Stop joking around, man. Sorry, John. But I have to do this. Mobius doesn't allow for mistakes. Ruthless. Mobius? What is Mo <sighs> What an arsehole. So we've got the residual memories. Alright guys, you know what? I think I'm going to have to leave it there. I don't want to bite off more than we can chew on this episode. So, if you've enjoyed this episode of The Evil Within 2, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal. And I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we'll continue exploring this underground sort of safe room, or not so safe room. And then we'll head to the visitor centre and maybe put them two sacks to bed. I don't like them. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring that to you. If you've got anything else you want to raise, anything at all, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you!